Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will tell you about my experience with the RAC. It all started about 9 pm with my car breaking down, and me getting home 12 30 pm the next day, and a written off car and caravan because of the RAC. I will keep it short today, because I will do a full in depth video, covering all the shocking treatment I got from the RAC customer service team. And absolutely no aftercare. I phoned and reported the breakdown at about 9.30 p.m. I explained to them I also had my 10-year-old son with me and we were in a dangerous location. But that didn't seem to matter to the RAC as they left us there all night. Then at about 3 a.m. the police turned up, so I explained my situation to them and they said they would try and chase the RAC up for me and left. At about 9.30 a.m. a recovery lorry turned up from the police because we had been there all night and traffic was getting worse, but the police weren't with him so I refused to let him load it on. Because it would have been put in a police compound. Then a RAC van turned up and arranged with the police and the recovery company that he will recover it for the RAC. Funny how the police could get a recovery lorry, but the RAC couldn't. Now I will tell you how my Mitsubishi Delica and Caravan got written off. They attached the winch cable to the bull bars on the front, and towed it up onto the lorry, it was the kind of lorry that the bed tips up to meet the road, so it had a steep angle. When the Delica got to the top, the bull bars ripped off the front, and the Delica came rolling back down and run into my caravan, which was still parked behind, which pushed the caravan into the RAC van behind that. That was just the start of my nightmare experience with the RAC, it just got worse and worse after that. The RAC left me without a hire car for a whole week, I then had to contact the recovery company about where was my Delica and caravan, and when I explained my situation to them, they put me in touch with their insurance company who sorted out a hire car for me, which the RAC should have been sorting that out for me, as I have a contract with the RAC. I had spent a whole week being passed from person to person by the RAC, and still not getting any help. Eventually, someone from the RAC offered me and my son £100 for our inconvenience, I told them that I'd take that as an insult, and I flatly refused the £100. I thought I would share my experience with the RAC with you, but if you like this video, Please like, subscribe and turn on notifications, for the full length video about this. And thank you for watching till the end.